welcome back to Reese's Pieces Math Mnemonics. Today's lesson is for you calculus students. Whether you're in high school or college, there are the big three rules. Product rule, quotient rule, and chain rule. We're gonna go into those today, learn some memory devices to help you memorize them and apply them to a few examples. So here we go. The first one is product rule. And in general, they could use different letters for the function, but if let's say h of x, equals f of x times g of x. Here's how you know when to use the product rule. You're going to have two different functions involving the variable, and for our purpose, let's say x. So you might have like sine x times x squared. But you're multiplying two separate functions. So the rule is, when you take the derivative, there's the notation for derivative, it's the first function times the derivative of the second one plus the second one times the derivative of the first. Now, because these are added, technically you could switch the order and you'd be fine. So this one, there's a little bit of flexibility. But basically, it's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. We'll come back to that when we do an example later. The quotient rule, now this is my favorite one. And actually, if you talk to one of my students, they would say this is one of their memory devices that they remember the most even when they come back from college. So the quotient rule, so watch when I go through this. The quotient rule, is when you have a function defined as two functions divided. So f of x divided by g of x for this general form. So if I'm taking the derivative, the rule is it's the denominator, g of x, times the derivative of the numerator, minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, all over that denominator squared. So here is the memory device. If it's the quotient rule you wish to know, it's low d high, less high d low, over the denominator squared b low. And the short version is low d high, less high d low, over the denominator squared b low. Let's look at that with this. So low, so the bottom one, d high, now di stands for differentiate, take the derivative. So low d high, so f prime of x, less high d low, over the denominator squared below. And we're going to practice that in an example in a little bit. So that's my favorite one out of these three. So quotient rule, very important. Always shows up on the AP exam. The last one is the chain rule. And the chain rule is a little more complex. Look at the setup of this compared to the product rule. Product rule is two separate functions being multiplied. For example, like sine x times x squared. Chain rule is a composite function. It's f of g of x. There's no x here. It's not f of x times g of x. It's f of g of x. So it's a function within a function. And the rule for this one is you take the derivative of the outer one, f prime, and then the inner function stays, g of x, and then you link on the derivative of the inside. That's why they call it the chain rule, like a chain link fence. So you're linking on the derivative of the inside. So the memory device for this one is der outer, der inner. It almost sounds like uh, uh, the German language. If you've studied German or heard it, it's like der outer, der inner. Very harsh sounding, but der stands for derivative. So der outer, der inner. So look, I did the derivative of the outside part first, f prime, and then I don't touch this. I leave g of x, but then I link on the derivative of the inside, der inner. Um, I've also heard the analogy of like peeling the layers of an onion. So if you have an onion, if you've seen on the counter, it gets all dry and crispy. You peel the outer layer, and then you get to the inner layer, and you can keep going. There's lots of layers. So it's like that. You're starting on the outside and working your way in. So let's look at two examples involving one of these three big calculus derivative rules. This I picked out. This is a typical kind of AP style question if you're taking AP calculus AB or BC. They're going to, they can give you a whole bunch of information. It's kind of overwhelming. Like, oh, f of 3 is this, f prime of 3, the derivative is this. Um, f prime of 2, or g of 3, g prime of 3. They're going to give you a lot of information. You may not need all the information, um, but it's there for you. And basically, what are they asking us to find? They're asking us to find the derivative of h evaluated f 3. So they're giving me h of x equals f of g of x. So you analyze this, and you're like, well, it's not the product rule because it's not f of x times g of x. So this is the chain rule. So it might be even good just to identify, OK, I'm doing the chain rule. And this is why it's important to know the formulas in general, because then I can just go, OK, 
h prime of x equals, and then we just learned this on the previous slide, but it's der outer, der inner. So I do f prime, the derivative of the outside. I don't, I don't change the inside, but then I link on der inner, the derivative of the inside. So again, der outer, der inner. Now we want to find h prime of 3. So if I'm trying to color coordinate this. Let's do this. I'm plugging in 3 wherever I see an x. So now it's f prime of g of 3 and times, I don't need the parentheses, g prime of 3. After you do the formula and you plug in that, it's basically arithmetic. Basically, you're going to substitute in the value, so let's do this. So it's f prime of g of 3. So you look up here. Oh, okay, g of 3 is 2, so you replace that with 2. And g prime of 3 is 4, so I replace that with a 4. Now we're not done. Now I have this f prime of 2, which makes sense now. That may have seemed out of place, but because all of them were like f of 3, f prime of 3, this one had a 2 in it. That's why. So now I take this value, f prime of 2 equals 3, and then I just multiply by 4. Like I said, simple arithmetic at that point, and the answer is 12. So there's an example of chain rule. Now let's go to this next one. Hopefully, obviously, this one, two things are being divided, so it's the quotient rule. So maybe we should write that down. We're doing the quotient rule. One more time with the memory device. Low D high, let's high D low over the denominator, squared B low. So let's do this in general first. So if I'm finding H prime of X, I'm going to do low D high. So actually, let's color coordinate this. So low D high, so F prime of X. Low D high less high d low, that would be g prime of x, over the denominator squared b. So you do that first, and often if this is a free response question on the AP exam, just doing that you can earn a point, just setting up the formula. Um, now let's finish it off. Now we're doing, remember they're wanting us to find h prime of 3. So basically I'm going to plug in 3 to all these. Just to go a little quicker, I'll just do this all in the same color. So I'm replacing any x with a 3. And so that would be g of 3 squared. All right. So then you look up at the top again. You place all the values. So I'll try this a little quicker. g of 3 is 2. f prime of 3 is 6 minus f of 3. The very first value there is 1. g prime of 3 is 4 all over g of 3 squared, so 2 squared. So then, like I said, just do the arithmetic. Here we go. So it's 12 minus 4 over 2 squared is 4, and that would be 8 over 4, which is 2. And so there's your lesson of the big three derivative rules with two examples to help you out. All right, good luck with your learning of calculus.